Okay, so in this video, I just wanted to explain to you uh, the process of coloring in and enhancing and adding details to your caricature. So what I explained in class today was to, after you finish outlining it, to go in and really erase all of these pencil lines. Right, erase all your pencil lines. And then you want to decide about how you're going to color it in. So I have colored pencils. I have a ton for you to work with. Um, so even if you're at home, let me know and I can pack a bag and put it in the main office for you. My suggestion would be if you're working with colored pencil to first color in just a solid block of color um, for each of your areas, just kind of like how I did the face here, a solid skin tone. And then do the same for each other part of your picture. And then start to go in and focus on um, adding darker values. Um, so that means like a darker um, color of the same uh, hue. So putting a lot of pressure on your pencil, um, it's going to create like a darker value um, of that color. So I would apply that to areas like around the eyes, right, where it kind of sets in more. Uh, it might be like a darker value. And then also around your nose, right? So I said to leave this area open. So I would shape your nose um, with your colored pencil and uh, allowing, you know, a lot of pressure to create this darker value around the space. You can also start to add darker, darker values around other parts of the face to add like volume to make it look more three-dimensional if you wanted to. Um, you can also uh, add other colors, so you can layer colors on top of one another. So don't think that the, just the one color you have is the only color that you can use. You can mix colors and layer on top of. So you can see here I'm starting to add uh, rosy cheeks or peachier cheeks, um, adding color to her cheeks and even like a little bit of her nose. So with a light pressure of the pencil, I'm lightly blending in this peachy color, pink color, into the cheeks of um, my person. And then I did use these two colors to, and I mixed them together to create the color of the lips. So you can do your entire caricature in colored pencil. You can do your entire caricature in whatever materials you'd like to use. I kind of want you to have fun with this. Um, however, the other material I have in my classroom that I will allow you to use are markers. I have Prismacolor markers. They're very similar to um, uh, to almost like uh, Copic markers, right? Um, they almost look like ink, like you're applying ink to the surface. So you can see here um, I added my Prismacolor markers to the hair. So you can see the intensity of it is much different than the colored pencil. Um, you can use just markers on your caricature. You can combine colored pencils and markers if you wanted to, or you can use just colored pencils or something else. It's up to you. Um, my Prismacolor markers I have have two, diff two different tips. One's thicker and one's like a paint pen. So you can kind of decide on which ones that you're using. If you do decide to use my Prismacolor markers, um, I would like you to stay in the classroom in C13 um, to work with them. Um, I do, do not want these actually leaving my classroom. Um, and that's uh, the end result. So this is just an example of, of the two different materials that I can supply for you in school and how they look. And from this point, you can really kind of decide on, you know, your approach and how you would like to uh, finalize your caricature.